Hey, Skillbite here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prime your oil pump. You need to do this anytime you are starting a fresh engine, or in my case, I'm actually doing it because the engine's been setting for three years, and I wanna make sure it's got oil where it needs to be. Might be a little overkill on my part, but figured I'd do the video so you can see how to do it. You will need an oil pump primer, one that fits your engine. Let's take a picture of where it is, the distributor cap, so you get an idea of where to have it for your timing, your initial timing. And I literally just took a picture from up above it, looking down so I could see, and it was right around in here. And next, if you had a Chevy or GM, your distributor's in the back, and yes, some others as well. And you gotta remove the bolt down here that holds it in, which is a real pain. Mine's a 9 16th, and you just gotta move it touch, flip it over, move it a touch. It, it'll, depend on what wrench you got. But you're gonna pull that out, bolt and washer. Don't lose them, and this little plate, that's the hold down. Now you can pull the distributor out. All right, now, who caught the thing I almost forgot? <laughs> okay, take the cap off. Oh man, not enough room to move it with just one hand you gotta look to see where the rotor's pointing mark where the rotor's pointing because you got to put it back in the same place that is just as important or more important than the timing so where the the where this is angled that rotor's got to be in the right spot now another thing that it really helps document is where the rotor ends up when you pull it out. And I'll try to do this with one hand. <laughs> it's going to turn towards the camera. Okay, right there. So when I go to put this back in, I wanna have that rotor pointing, that's right here. I wanna have that pointing right there and by the way the vacuum advance this is a good way to mark where the timing is now before you go and put your drill on that make sure you know which way it needs to turn so this is the small block Chevy and it turns clockwise the way I the way I know this is because the vacuum advance sets here, points here. So to advance the timing, I turn it, turn the distributor counterclockwise, which means it's turning clockwise when it's spinning. Also, you can look it up on the internet. <laughs> it might be easier for you. Uh, check yours, because not all of them are the same direction. Drill's on, it's going the right direction. So let's turn it. Now mine is already primed. I'm definitely getting, oh yeah, it started pretty easy and now you can probably see how it's moving. So it's definitely moving that Super thick, <laughs> fresh 2050 uh, VR1 oil. That stuff's thick. So that's probably plenty, but it doesn't hurt to run it for a little bit. So you know the pump is primed when you start feeling the resistance on the drill. And you can keep going if you want to go ahead and push the oil through passages which is what I did. So now, gotta take that out. 
put the trimmer back in, try to get it in the right position. Hopefully you documented it. Good news, there's obviously oil flowing. Bad news, this was stuck up in here. So I pulled it out when I pulled the primer out. That, it's not a big deal. Just gotta put this back in and make sure it engages at the bottom. So to drop that in, use a magnet. One of those, Just drop it in, set it in, push it to the side, it'll be there. And then if you got a really long flathead screwdriver, put that in there and make sure it is fully seated. And one other thing, when you go to put the distributor in, so we got the distributor and that is what drives the pump. That's got to line up. When you put it in, when you set, when you go to set this in, that's got to line up with the pump. It is possible that it's going to be off 90 degrees or something. If it is, you just need to turn it. Uh, I would stick the tool back in, the primer back in, and turn it like 90 degrees and until you finally get this to drop in. See if I have any luck doing this. I normally don't. Okay, so we got the rotor where it was. All right, so it's not wanting to go in. That's because the oil pump shaft is not lining up. There it went. Now, I got lucky. That's where it went, and guess what? Ha! See, that's why I recorded it, because would, that would have never happened if I wasn't recording it. That's like the first time ever. There, it should be good right there. Now, I actually, I should have used the vacuum on where it was. I think it was like right here. Um, I actually noted mine on where the cap was. So I'll have to fid fiddle with it a bit in order to get it set for the timing piece. But that's, that's really all there is to it. So hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to plug everything back in, including your uh, ignition box and all that, your MSD, whatever. And good luck with yours.